good morning from near Tucson, Arizona. This is me and Coffee Bean. We're out on the road, went to the grocery store, a Fry's grocery store near Tucson, Arizona. This is November the 25th, 2024 at 10.49 a.m. The outside temperature is 69 degrees, very nice. The reason I have the phone like this is because I'm holding it in my hand. Why, is it, why am I holding it in my hand? because my holder doesn't work right and I haven't got one. But be that as it may, me and Coffee Bean are doing just fine. Is it fuzzing up? I cannot tell. Uh, is it? It looks okay, but let's do this. Whoa, is that better or Worcester? I think it's Worcester. Let's go back to that. But anyway, what I want to tell you is fuzzy, whatever it is or not, is went to Fry's grocery store. Folks, you don't want to go grocery shopping the week of Thanksgiving. I guarantee you. Was it crowded? Ah! You, you kidding me? And the prices, oh, I looked at, well, Fry's is okay on prices. Pretty good. You know, uh, they compare favorably with any grocery store around here for sure. And I'm trying to see if this thing is is and maybe it is but anyway we're going to go back to welton right now but yeah so far uh coffee beans doing fine i'm doing fine we got thanksgiving come up coming up i got me up well instead of getting turkey uh i got uh, some ham you know a big slice of ham they call it a ham steak and what i do i cut it into serving size chunks for me and i burn it on the, on the stove i you know fry it up real good well not fry it well sort of fry it you know and uh, but I get it real burnt you know I like everything well done and then with that and some uh, dressing with cranberry sauce uh, I got some mashed potatoes uh, I didn't get any rolls because I got some good old nine grain bread and uh, we're, we're okay with that so and then I got some uh, did I say mashed potatoes I got some of that and uh, I've also got a nice salad if I choose to have it and because I got spinach tomato and stuff but yeah that'll be Thanksgiving Day and this guy's got his blinker on to move over in the right lane and I hope he can see me in his mirror because I'm just a little speck in the universe but we're cruising along at 60 miles an hour the speed limit I think here is 65 and so we're not doing too bad and uh, now this guy pulls over in front of me and he's slowing down why would he do that I, I really don't like driving in traffic guys as you may know that's why I like all these little roads out in the country and stuff anyway he did slow down but we, we're, we're gonna slow down too how about that so what else can I tell you the weather's been good oh I got a doctor's appointment for uh, uh, coffee bean for tomorrow morning which even though this video will come up after that uh, I'll it'll, it'll come up and uh, yeah we're going to have everything checked out and have the uh, uh, engine filter replaced the cabin filter replaced and they're going to check you know all the little tie rod ends and brakes and hoses and all kind of stuff and uh, we may end up adding some new spark plugs and whatever, but the oil looks good. And the battery I had checked this morning at Napa Auto Parts, they have a little device to check the battery. Battery looked good. And so that's uh, nice, nice to know. And uh, yeah, but yeah, the, the gas mileage looks like we're gonna be 45 or above. And uh, I cannot believe that, but that's great. And so far, I'm, I'm quite pleased with my purchase, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's got 68,000 miles on it, and uh, for a car that's 12 years old, that's not bad, you know, because if you average 12,000 miles a year, you'd have 144,000 miles, but this one only has half of that, which is great, and I was told by the guy I bought it from that the, most of the miles he put on it were towing miles. Because see, the only way to stop the miles from counting when you're towing is disconnect the 
battery cable so none of the electronic stuff is working and he didn't I don't plan to either you know because I'm not going to be traveling that much and uh, but anyway we're going to go over these dry desert mountains again near Yuma on the way to Welton Arizona and uh, yeah it's uh, quite nice I mean I'm glad I went to Fry's and got a few things uh, so that I've got food at home not only for Thanksgiving but for several days before and after because today is just Monday oh and also I'm getting a new key made for the ignition and y'all may not know this but I'll tell you Napa Auto Parts can program keys and uh, if they don't have the key that will fit your car they'll order it for you it takes about three or four days well it depends he said it depends on uh, UPS how long it takes them to get it there because they have to they order it from one of their other stores and uh, but yeah he said probably be three or four days I imagine it'll be Monday next week and they call you when it's in you go by they program it and you've got your extra key and while I'm there I'm going to put a new battery in my existing key fob so that I have two brand new basically key fobs is that a good idea yeah it is for me why there's about a 50 50 chance i can lose a key i have not i don't think i've ever lost one but you never know old dogs do strange things but on the road highway 8 to welton arizona from yuma arizona actually it's not yuma it's called something else it's just a, a section of uh, a community next to yuma a suburb so to speak and uh, yeah, it's a pretty drive. I like driving through these mountains here. I like that sign there that shows the truck tilting over. It's not that bad of an incline. I, I you know, uh, now when I was in the Class C coming down this mountain, I had to kind of use the cruise control to slow it down a little bit. But in old Coffee Bean, we not not an issue. Just put it in fourth gear and roll down the mountain. You know. Well, there's a lot of activity around here as far as fresh vegetables and stuff and these trucks are man they're everywhere and, and, and bussing the migrants around and the buses to work or to the fields a lot of that going on but the fields go for miles and miles and miles you know so as soon as we get straighted out here a little bit I'm gonna in this video. I don't know why those trucks had to pass me, but they just did, didn't they? You're a witness. But now we're down to 48 miles an hour. But that's fine. I'm in no hurry. Now they're going to turn right and that's, they're going to the fields, man. Because that's where all the fields are, off to the right. Go through a little town or an area called Dome Valley and Ligarita or something like that. But yeah, it's, it's a nice day so far, and Thanksgiving's coming up uh, Thursday. And uh, yeah, we're, we're just uh, tickled to be alive, guys. I hope you are, too. Weather looks good for the next 10 days, for sure. And uh, that's good. So, guys, with that in mind, as I run up on another truck that just had to pass me, you know, and now I'm right behind him. But again, no hurry, not me. Now he's going 50, 53. Anyway, guys, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. Use the Amazon link, drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, and enjoy your life the best way you can. Happy Thanksgiving if this comes up before Thanksgiving, which it probably won't. But if it doesn't, then I'll, this is happy after Thanksgiving Day. So enjoy your life. Keep a smile on your face. That'll just aggravate the crap out of everybody. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.